I wanted to show you the, 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 the interface of the Drobo. So this is the front cover, and I've got the capacity meter over here. And if you look at it, you see I'm about, oh, 80% full. Uh, this is about how much free space I've got there. And these are the status lights for the hard drives. I've got only two hard drives in there at the moment, and they're both fine because the lights are green. Let me take the cover off. The cover is uh, magnetic, and so you can take it off quite easily. It's, it's light, and the beautiful thing is it slides. It, it snaps right on um, because it's magnetic. So it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's a well thought out uh, front plate. Let me put it that way. On the back of it, you'll got, you've got a little uh, color scheme that tells you what to do when something's wrong. So that's nice. Um, these are the, the drive bays. I've got two hard drives in there, like I mentioned. Uh, these are the levers that lock them into place. And then, so you just slide a lever back and you slide a hard drive in. And when it's all the way in, the lever snaps onto its back and holds it into place. And when you depress a lever, the drive uh, slides out like that. And so, you know, I've got my computer connected right now, but if I want to, I could just. There we go. And so now the lights are red here, telling me that, wait a minute, you've just taken out a hard drive. You, you sure you do that? And look, the Drobo, the Drobo now says, I cannot currently protect your data against a single hard drive failure because I've taken a hard drive out, and, and so now it, it only has one hard drive in there. But that's the beauty of the Drobo. You know, you can just take a hard drive out at any time, and it's OK. Um, it can protect up to the failure of up to two hard drives, as a matter of fact, depending on how much free space you've got uh, on it. So let me slide it back in. So like I said, you just push that lever back and stick the hard drive in there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other, but let me try. Excuse me, I'm going to have to set the camera down for just a bit. All right, so take this. And stick it in. Now the light should change to green. Now it's going to check the drive for just a bit and then the light should switch back to green. I assume that because I've got a lot of data on there it takes a bit to check it. And so now they're flashing amber. And according to the, the legend over here it means that I should not remove the drives. Uh, it's doing the checking right now. So um, eventually it's going to tell me that everything's fine and, and they're going to turn green. Now while it's doing that, let me just show you this is the um, this is the, uh, the capacity meter over here and the lights are all blue. Um, the, the, these are the blue LEDs that I mentioned and, and I don't know if you can see this with the camera but it, it can be pretty annoying to look into those blue LEDs um, uh, so that's why I have it off to the side and this is one aspect of the design that I wish Drobo would change in their next build they're too blue and they're too intense it's okay if you look at them from the side so that's that's alright but if you stick the if you put your eyes in front there it's terrible even even through the cover so even with the cover on if I put it back on um, it's it's just it's too much this is the back of the Drobo. The, uh, what you see here is a fan. Well, it's, it's hidden behind this panel. But there's a fan there that sucks air through this uh, opening. And it pushes it out through these vents in the front. Right here, it's got vents on all sides. Um, it's got vents here as well, and I believe it sucks in air through here as well. Uh, this panel is not removable, unlike the front panel. Uh, it's got a locking uh, slot here, so in case you've got one of those uh, cables that you can secure the drive to a desk with, uh, you can do that through here. And it's got, uh, very simply, um, the USB port there and the DC power port um, right there. So the interface on the back is very clean and uh, this glossy plastic look is very nice as well. So I wanted to show you, um, because I, I mentioned the noise made by the Drobo in my review and I don't want you to get the wrong impression that it's some kind of excessive noise. It isn't, but it is audible and uh, if you're the type that's easily bothered by hard drive noises or that sort of thing and you want a nice quiet work environment, you'll want to consider this um, carefully. Um, so let me show you what kind of noise I'm talking about.
Uh, there's, by the way, the drobo is on right now. The fan is going in the back, cooling it. This is the normal amount of noise you get from a drobo. Let me let me shut up for a second, and you can hear it. There's actually some noise from this drive. So if you hear a little bit of fan noise, it's from this, not from this. Um, but that's this is the amount of noise you get from it normally. Now, when you when the drives are churning, it's a whole different story. So when you're reading and writing to the drobo actively, doing stuff with it, the the story is quite different. So let me plug it in. And uh, by plugging it, I mean putting it, uh, connecting it via USB to my laptop because it is plugged in already. You can see in the back there. So let me plug it in here. All right. Now the drives are going to start churning in just a moment. Listen carefully. There we go. So it's turned on, and now in a moment, my PC laptop is going to start uh, scanning the drive for the types of files that it finds on there. It's going to make even more noise now. Hear that? Right, so that's the kind of noise you should expect it to make. It's not loud, and so, you know, this is how far it would be from me. You know, this is my computer here. That's the drobe over there. Let me give you an idea of what you might be able to hear from your computer. It's not very audible. It's not very audible at all from here. I uh, thought I'd do a size comparison between um, between the Drobo and some other external devices just to give you an idea of its size because I don't think that people realize its size when they look at a photo on a website um, you just really won't know how big it is until you get it home and then you're going to be very surprised and say oh my gosh I don't have enough space on my desk for this thing but um, it's substantial um, it's not a small device by any sort of means um, but it does look great, <laughs> at least to my eyes. So, the Drobo is right here, um, and next to it I've got a newer tech uh, uh, mini stack, uh, external hard drive, and this one houses a, a 3.5 inch regular hard drive in here like this, and it's got some circuits here on the back uh, to control it. It's also got a built-in uh, firewire and USB uh, hub, uh, but that's another story altogether. But that's uh, this is the same size as a Mac Mini, and so just to give you an idea, this is uh, that's let's call that a Mac Mini, and this is a Drobo. So the Drobo is quite quite large compared to it, and it's also quite tall. Um, it's a fairly long device. It's longer than the size of the hard drives. The hard drives, if you stick them in there, would only come up to about here. Uh, to about there and then this this portion of it is reserved for circuitry and cooling and that sort of thing so um, alright so that's a newer tech mini stack and then next to it I've got the MyBook um, Pro Edition 2 this is a uh, one terabyte uh, device that can be run in RAID 0 or RAID 1 and I have not had good results with it at all so um, anyway but I'm sticking it here just for size comparison so okay, let, me, let me back up so you've got the, the MyBook Pro, you've got the, the newer Tech Mini stack or a Mac Mini, same size as a Mac Mini, and then you've got the Drobo. So it's it's large. I mean, it fits four hard drives in there, but it's 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 taller and longer than you would expect it to. So make sure that if you intend to buy it, you've got enough space on your desk for it. And and just for kicks, let me show you this. This is a WD uh, Passport drive, so it's one of these uh, 2.5 inch laptop uh, drive devices that you can stick in your uh, in your pocket. So um, that's the drive, and that's the Drobo. So it's it's quite a large device. Just want to get that point across to you. Okay.
And anyway, that's a Drobo, and um, I like it. I think I think it's a great little device, and I love the fact that now I've got hard drive independence. I can just, you know, slide a hard drive in whenever I want to, and I don't have to worry about data loss, and uh, it can protect them very nicely. So I like that a lot. Um, there you go.